Hey guys, Mike here. So we're headed down on the coast today. It's about 5.30 in the morning right now. We usually leave the shop about 6 o'clock in the winter. We got our mud slab we're doing. We've already been here once. We poured the basement slab. This is about two weeks later. We could have poured both these floors at the same time, but we just couldn't get enough concrete. So we're going to go back down. We've got two trucks coming. Conveyor trucks coming first, and then just a regular mixer after that. So let's head to the job. Good morning everybody, we're back here on this job. We poured the basement floor a couple weeks ago. Now we got a, like a mud slab, rat slab type floor we gotta get so they can get this decked over. Getting the concrete, getting the conveyor truck stretched out now. So. You didn't, you didn't get the Knickerbocker memo? No, what? Uh, what's the memo? Sorry, what? There's literally signs on the job. No video cameras, nothing. Where is it? Where are they? It's not on this job, but they're oh. on the rest. No videoing on the job sites, nothing. Why? I haven't, uh, I don't know, but I good job. So for whatever reason, the GCs that we're working for here today must have some signs on their other job sites that say no video camera. And I didn't see any on this job. Personally, I just think that's a little ridiculous. I don't know if they're trying to hide something or what, but let me know, what do you guys think down in the comments? Do you, you think video and something like this, do you think there's something wrong with it or, or whatever? Let me know what you guys think. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and video us pouring this because I like to show you guys and teach you guys what we do and how we do it. So I think it's, it's really good valuable information, I think, for those of you that wanna learn. So here we go. As you can see, we had a little bit of pulling to do. We decided just to pour this from one spot on the foundation. We could have backed him around, but there was some things in the way that we would have had to move, and then we would have only been able to get so much from this side, then we had to move him back to the other side. So we just thought it'd be a little quicker just to use a little chute with a conveyor and just, just pull the mud around. It really wasn't too bad. One nice thing about the conveyor is once it can reach where you want it, it puts it it puts it right down on the ground pretty nice. I mean, I know a lot of you guys don't have access to a conveyor truck, but if you ever do, you know, I would I would recommend trying it. It really makes pouring easy. And then one guy can pretty much do the breaking down like what Darren's doing, then wh whoever else is with you can go mag edges or shoot grays or do whatever they need to do. So it, it almost eliminates a man, I think.
Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you guys know that we typically like to get that first truck dumped right out, get him out of the way, get that second one in. And it gives us plenty of mud to work with. We, we know that we can get it down pretty fast. The only way we might not do that is if, if we had a ton of pipes to go around maybe or if we felt like the concrete was setting up really, really fast, we may just dump half of him, get that screeded, then give him, maybe give him a little bit of drink to loosen him up a little bit to get the other half off and get that screeded. But for the most part, you know, we kind of know how this stuff acts. When it shows up this time of year, it's got about 100 and, 150, 160 degree hot water in it. And depending on how many yards he's got on the truck, we know how much accelerator we can add. And then we know by that how much time we have to play with this stuff on the ground before it really starts to kick off. So, and we only know that stuff because we use it every day. You know, so you get a really good feel of the characteristics of the setup times when you use the stuff every day. If we were using different companies, every day you know if we were pouring in one part of the state with one company a different another part with a different company you know the the, the mixes the water temperatures the additives if they're different they're all going to act a little different so that's one good thing about using the same company pretty much the same company every day over and over and over again you really get a good feel of how the stuff acts how it works you know when it's going to set up quick when it's not how it's going to finish so that's that's a little bit of a bonus use about using the same company the same batch man having the same drivers knowing uh how fast they spin their drums on the way to the jobs um telling them what you want for a slump and they can mix it right up to that slump the first time all that stuff adds up to uh being a really big deal you know so we kind of count on them as well as them counting on us for work so it goes two ways Today, the stuff, we didn't put a lot of accelerator in this today because we knew that we didn't have to finish it. We didn't have to hand trial it. We didn't have to power trial it. All we had to do was bolt load it. So we knew we had plenty of time to work with this stuff so we could get that first truck dumped right out and get him out of the way. It really, it takes longer just to get the concrete off the truck and get it laid down than it does screeding it and bolt floating it really. So for us anyway, that's, that's the way we like doing things. You know the basement slab we did a couple weeks ago that was about 1450 square feet and this one here is about 1100 square feet so this is a pretty good size house it's gonna be nice when it's all done it's got a pretty good view of like an inlet to the ocean it's not it's not pure ocean but it's there's a water pretty nice water view you see at the end here but 
these guys that we're working for typically build pretty big houses right on the ocean so they kind of they, they do know what they're doing they got a good reputation for building really nice houses not sure about the whole no video thing I've never heard of that before on any of their jobs but I guess it didn't end up really being an issue here no one no one came over and said anything when I got it going and I just videoed the whole thing as you see it, it's it really was only on for about an hour so if you haven't commented about that yet let me know what you think um, like why do you think they wouldn't have wanted video on this job is there and what do you think is wrong with something like that if uh, I mean if I had seen that sign and somebody would have been here and said you can't video that I just you know obviously I wouldn't have videoed it I wouldn't have argued with them it's not that big a deal but really I mean it's just a residential job it's not a commercial job so Luke's finishing up he's got the Dobby in his hand he, he's gonna get up that ladder pull it up then we're gonna use the, the old what, what we call the come along trick to take out our footprints in the ladder tracks and let me know if you guys use the same trick or if you've got a different technique well, that's it guys we gotta it's about 14 yards that's all we gotta do just bow float it again thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one